Daily vlog number 107. It's Thursday, but instead of a three minute theology Thursday, I thought I'd just share something with you. As I'm filming this, it is Holy Thursday or Maundy Thursday, which Maundy means mournful, I think. Let me look that up. Siri, what does Maundy Thursday mean? Let me check that. So the word Maundy apparently comes from the Latin mondatum, as in mondatum novum dovobis unt delegatus in vixium sicut dilexi vos. Somewhere I think a hell mouth just opened up. Actually, that's the Latin translation for Jesus's words. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So Maundy Thursday is derived from the first word in that Latin phrase. Because it was at that last supper that Jesus gave that new command, that we should love one another as he has loved us. And even though the disciples didn't understand just what he was talking about, because they didn't see the full expression of his love until Good Friday, and even that didn't quite register to them until after Easter Sunday, when they saw him risen and he kind of set them straight. So today is Maundy Thursday, a Thursday when many Christians celebrate the Lord's Supper or communion or the Eucharist. We get together and Remember that Jesus took bread and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. They took a cup of wine and he said, This is my blood shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. It's a time for us to remember what Jesus is going to do tomorrow, which is die on the cross for us. And I know there's a lot of different ways of looking at what Jesus accomplishes by dying on the cross. And maybe that's something for another Three Minute Theology Thursday. But on this Maundy Thursday, I just wanted to tell you that what Jesus did for his disciples, the love that he showed them, which he wanted them to demonstrate to each other, is the same love that he has for you and for me. And so if you love that love, then go share that love with others. Because frankly, I think too many people like to hate more than they like to love. And see, that's the big problem because Jesus died not so that we could hate each other, but so that we would love each other by following his example of sacrificial love. So tomorrow's Good Friday. But take a moment just to consider, maybe even if it's for the first time, what his death means to you. And by all means, go to church on Easter Sunday, because that's like the Super Bowl for Christians. At least it should be. It's the day we celebrate Jesus is coming back and what that means for us. And I'll tell you this, of all of the theories and all of the sermons and all of the interpretations I've heard about what his death and resurrection means for us, this is my favorite one. That the crucifixion represents the worst that we could ever do to God. And the resurrection was proof that it wasn't enough for him to stop loving us. With that kind of love, let us go and love one another. This has been daily vlog number 107. 258 to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow.